My name is Charlie Young. I'm a junior and I'm in the House of Martin. I've been very close to John Paul since before the building even existed. I live about four minutes away and I've seen it develop from dirt into the beautiful school it is today. Living in this area for 12 years, I remember coming over to the school with my buddies once construction started and climbing around on the equipment. But all this curiosity soon became a reality when my oldest sister, sister number one, decided to attend John Paul. She was a cheerleader, so I went to all the football and basketball games. She was part of the first four-year graduating class. Through her, I saw and heard what she thought of John Paul. And after she graduated, I remember her saying to me, I'm so glad I went to John Paul. I never realized how much I loved it until now. This admiration must have hit somewhere deep down inside of me, because after that, I knew John Paul was a place for me. Eighth graders. Believe it or not, I was once in the same position as many of you are right now. I knew I wanted to go to John Paul, but I had never attended private school before, and most of my middle school friends wouldn't be coming with me. It was a whole new world. My other sister, sister number two, also chose John Paul. She was already a sophomore when I was an incoming freshman and didn't want much to do with her uncool little brother like me. So I wasn't sure how I would fit in, but then I remembered how I used to go to all the football games with sister number one decided to join the football team. When I showed up for the first day of practice on a hot August afternoon, something inside me must have changed. I wasn't the same eighth grader anxiously walking down to the field. I was now the young man who had a place to call home and had teammates to help him achieve his maximum potential. Other than going to jump ball, deciding to play football was probably one of the smartest decisions of my life. This is why I love John Paul. By the way, if you don't play football, there are 17 other sports to choose from, and I know you'll have the same great experience. And if you aren't really into sports, there are many other clubs and service opportunities for you to participate in. But now, sorry, I hate to break it to you, school isn't all about sports and activities, we do actually study. Coming out of middle school with straight A's, I knew I wanted to challenge academically. John Paul gave me that and more. I've learned to push myself, and now I know what I'm truly capable of. With the encouragement of my teachers and competitiveness of my classmates, I've developed a strong work ethic that helps me in school and in life. As a college prep school, John Paul has all the challenging classes you would expect, but I believe that the part that sets us, the part that sets us apart is our amazing faculty. My teachers have been there for me every step of the way to help me succeed, and some may even have a few extra gray hairs to prove it. <laughs> I remember earlier this year, one of my teachers stopped class and said, I know, you, I know this is hard, but I'm making it more difficult because I know you guys can do it. They challenge us because they care about us. That care helps us succeed academically, and but also helps to create the close-knit community we have here at John Paul. It's evident in every classroom, in the hallways, and on the fields. Our teachers are not just instructors, but friendly mentors. At John Paul, a Catholic education is not just about getting good grades, but about growing becoming better people as we improve the world around us. This is why I love John Paul. Friends, well, it's a really important part of high school. If there's only one thing I can say to an incoming freshman about making friends, it would be, don't worry. Get involved, and it will happen. At JP, no one is ever really alone. You never see someone sitting at a lunch table by themselves, or hear someone say they don't have friends. This place is filled with good, faithful people, and that makes a difference in how we treat each other. There's never a time when you walk through the hallways and you don't hear the sound of laughter. I am not exaggerating when I say that John Paul is one of the happiest places I have been to. When I shadow as an eighth grader, I remember leaving thinking to myself how happy everyone seemed. I wanted to be a part of that. An eighth grader. In case you're wondering, there are no seniors harassing the freshmen, despite what all the high school movies might suggest. We don't really have clicks either. The house system helps us to get to know students in all grades. Everyone seems to find their place. The fact that we are in a huge school helps with that too. You don't feel like you're a faceless number in a sea of students, or that you're in a tiny school where you bump into the same people all the time. John Paul is just the right size so you can know almost everyone and still feel like you're a part of a big family. I know that I have made friends with John Paul that will last me a lifetime. This is why I love John Paul. If I had more time, I could tell you many more reasons why I love John Paul. But in closing, I simply invite you to come and see for yourself. 
Come spend your high school years here and write your own story about why you love John Paul. And now I'd like to pass the mic on to my friend Brooke, who will tell you her story.